All right, y'all. I got some uh, inside source stuff here with uh, Ja Morant and the mm-hmm. uh, whole case with his gun and the car and all that. So we all know he was already issued a warning, he had a history of this, but my sources say that the relative in the car in the backseat had a toy gun in the car. The gun is not real and was playing around with it, passed it over to Ja, and that got caught on the line. He had it in his hand. Now the video was sent to uh, Adam Silva, NBA, allegedly. They have it and they said the gun looks extremely fake. Like it's obviously a toy gun. But uh, according to my source, allegedly, uh, Adam Silva is still going to go through with the suspension, looking like it should be about 30 games, even though they know it is a toy gun. I know they, I mean, it has an image and it's a private company. They can do what they want. Mm-hmm. But I just want it to be known that it was not a Yo, a it, real gun. And how do y'all feel about that? I love, uh, I love Job and Rand. I love his team. They all from South Carolina. So, you know, I'm going to always support them. But that's the best excuse y'all can come up with. If it was a toy gun, why not say that from the start? Why issue an apology I agree. for a toy gun? You, you issued an apology, Ja. <laughs> well, don't most I, I thought most of those toy guns, especially when they look like that, the replicas usually have an orange tip on on the majority of them. Right? I have no idea, but you issued an apology. If it was a toy gun, that's something you would have said immediately. Mm-hmm. If it was a toy gun, why did your man put the camera phone down when you started waving it? Why did he move the camera? Like, come on, y'all, y'all got to come up with a better. I said to my source, why would that he not be screaming that from the rooftops? Come on, man. And they were like, well, come you know, on, the NBA has a copy of the video come and on. they have proof that it's fake. Come on, black so, man. Black, we, we, come on, y'all. You got to do better than that. Now, you got to come up with But what if it was a toy gun? That is... <laughs> it's impossible. Like Nothing about their behavior says it was a toy gun. Mm-hmm. From the fact that when his man realized he put the gun up, he tried to move the camera phone. From the fact that Job issued an apology after that. Like, there's... Come on, y'all. But it, even, even if it is on. a toy gun, it's a private company, and they can decide what they want to do based off... We know it's not a toy moral, gun. Right? It's still a bad look. Come on. Stop. It is still a bad... Like, when you know you have that in your history, and they're looking at you for that, why would you... Like, no one can be around me with toy anything that I'm already, you know, yeah, in trouble for. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's your brother Van Silk. I'm back again. I'm back again. Not in my house with Van Silk. You can catch me on rumble.com, youtube.com, Spotify for podcasters. That's right. Not in my house with Van Silk. That's right. Go so subscribe. No, hit the notification button, follow, do whatever you got to do. Do whatever you got to do. I love it. Tonight is the third game of the NBA Finals. Denver Nuggets is down in Miami. Yes, time for the Miami Heat to show and prove. I'm a Miami Heat fan for the last 13 years since my Knicks ain't helping me. But let's also talk about what's going on in New York, on the eastern shore of the United States, whatever's going on in Florida. It got the skies in New York looking orange, people walking around in mass. A lot of events are being canceled in Florida. Not in Florida, in New York. Wow. I must be tired. But hey, let's talk about our boy, John Morant. Mr. Wanna Shoot, 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 have you have a gun, gun, gun guy. The NBA player who just signed an extension that goes into effect this season. But he want to play around with guns. In the strip club, talk to the commissioner. You want another video with a gun. Damn, boy. Fool's paradise. But I just want to make sure that everybody get to understand. We seen the video before I came on. I want everybody to understand. That when you are in social media, when you're on radio, when you're on TV, news, reporting information, sometimes if it ain't 100%, it's 50-50. I got to give congratulations out to Claudia Jordan, who was the one who said that she had information about the gun in the video that John Moran had might have been a toy gun. Now, we all know what toy guns look like. I know what a toy gun looks like, trust me. But, you know, you do have toy guns that don't have the orange tip. So now, after the commissioner said they have came up, uh, uh, more stuff have came to their attention, could this have been it, that it was a toy gun and he didn't want to make the announcement out of respect to the teens in the NBA final as opposed to somebody when they lost in the semi, uh, the Western Conference final? 
Oh, I might retire. You know who I'm talking about. Listen, I got to give props to Claudia Jordan. She ten toes down all the time. And when she's wrong, she'll let you know. Listen, I apologize for the information. But everybody is picked up on what she said on The Breakfast Club on Tuesday. She brought the news to the attention. Everybody, all the media, everybody, I don't care who you are in the news in this world, it came from Claudia Jordan. She said it. She broke it. And everybody should give her, it, well, you know, let's be honest. I was looking up a lot of the articles. A lot of articles mentioned her and, you know, they mentioned the Breakfast Club. But even if she's wrong, she still brought it to the attention of what was being told. Now, let me ask, let me say this. Let me really say this. I'm going to say this. Okay. There are a lot of things that people say in the media that's 100% wrong. If you go on YouTube, a lot of people just make up a lot of crap. A lot of these pages are just BS. I take Claudia Jordan at her word. I'm 50 50 on it, but I take on her word. I'll stand behind what she say. You know? Because when they have their pre show meetings and discussion on, on what they're going to talk about, I'm quite sure they brought it up and asked her, are you sure, are you sure, are you sure? There's been many times that I told her certain things, I told her like this, you can't, I'm just telling you this, you can't say nothing. You got to keep this between me and you because it might not be 100% accurate. And she, you know, she, she, she keep it 100. So, for all those, as I'm talking and y'all looking, that utilize what she said on The Breakfast Club on Tuesday, that she had... She was told by somebody that the gun, blah, 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 was, was toy, a toy gun. Everybody jumped on what she said. Now, if she's 100% right, maybe she's a good person for a source of a lot of news and information. You know, it's been a lot of times she's been right. You know, it's been a lot of times Wendy Williams been right. And when Wendy Williams was wrong, she came out and said it. But, you know, all I'm going to say is right now, I stand behind Claudia Jordan. I'm glad that she said it. Even though when I heard when she said it, I'm like, huh? What? But it could be what the commissioner is going to say. It was a toy gun. But let's keep it 100. If it was a toy gun, John Moratner would have said straight out from the gate, like, yo, this is a toy gun. But even though you was told by the commissioner, from the meeting you had with him after the first situation, why would you be in a video even with a toy gun? That's my question. You put yourself in that predicament for what reason? I don't know, and we'll all find out once the finals is over. Shout out to Claudia Jordan. Y'all can follow her at Claudia Jordan on Instagram. This your brother Van Silk, not in my house with Van Silk on Rumble.com. YouTube.com, Spotify for podcasters. I'm out. Talk to you later. All right, y'all. I got some uh, inside source stuff here with uh, John Morant and the mm -hmm. uh, whole case with his gun and the car and all that. So we all know he was already issued a warning. He had a history of this. But my sources say that the relative in the car in the backseat had a toy gun in the car. The gun is not real and was playing around with it, passed it over to Ja and that got caught on the line. He had it in his hand. Now the video was sent to uh, Adam Silva, NBA, allegedly. They have it and they said the gun looks extremely fake. Like it's obviously a toy gun. But uh, according to my source, allegedly, uh, Adam Silva is still gonna go through with the suspension looking like it should be about 30 games, even though they know it is a toy gun. I know the NBA has an image and it's a private company. They can do what they want. Mm -hmm. But I just want it to be known that it was not a Yo, a it, real gun, and how do y'all feel about that? I love, uh, I love John Moran. I love his team. They all from South Carolina, so you know I'm gonna always support them. But that's the best excuse y'all can come up with. If it was a toy gun, why not say that from the start? Why issue an apology? I agree. For a toy gun, you, you issued an apology, Ja. <laughs> well, don't most I, I thought most of those toy guns, especially when they look like that, the replicas usually have an orange tip on on the majority of them. Right? I have no idea, but you issued an apology. If it was a toy gun, that's something said you would have said immediately. Mm -hmm. If it was a toy gun, why did your man put the camera phone down when you started waving it? Why did he move the camera? Like, come on, y'all. Y'all got to come up with a better I said to myself, that. why would that he not be screaming that from the rooftops? Come on, man. And they were like, well, come you know, on. the NBA has a copy of the video come and on. they have proof that it's fake. 
Come on, black so men. Black, we, we, come on, y'all. You got to do better than that. Now, you got to come up with But what if it was a toy gun? That is... <laughs> it's impossible. Like, nothing about their behavior says it was a toy gun. From the fact that when his man realized he put the gun up, he tried to move the camera phone. From the fact that Job issued an apology after that. Like, this, come on, y'all. But it, even, even if it is on. a toy gun, it's a private company, and they can decide what they want to do based off... We know it's not a toy gun. Moral, right? still a bad look. Come on. Stop. It is still a bad... Like, when you know you have that in your history, and they're looking at you for that, why would you... Like, no one can be around me with toy anything that I'm already, you know, yeah, in trouble for. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.